all right so in the last few slides in the last 20 minutes or so we looked at how to create a database we discussed what is a database you know what all data can go into a database how do you organize the data in the form of tables we also looked at some basic installation about your you know for your work environment and we also looked at some very simple queries like you know how to query the data from a particular table how to create a table how to create a database um, you know how to insert some data and so on and so forth going forward what we'll do is we will actually take a deep dive into querying we'll look at various syntax right we look at aggregation how to query a single table how to conditionally query a single table how to join multiple tables and so on and so forth we'll start with again very simple stuff we'll keep on adding information and i will be taking a little bit different approach from here onwards what we'll do is instead of me going through a syntax and then showing you let's let's take a good database like a you know which which has certain number of tables and data and let's just discuss some problem statement something like give me all the employees who were hired after so and so date and let's see how can we create a query for them so it will kind of give you a real world aspect of when questions are asked how do you go about approaching those kind of problems so what we'll do is Microsoft provides some sample databases. We're going to go ahead and install that. The reason being we don't have to create data that that's pretty much, you know, a good list of tables, good list of data. It's something really, you know, something like a real world data. Uh, they call it the Adventure Works database. It's, it's actually a very simple installation. Um, you know, we just download it and then just uh, attach the databases into our database engine and then we can start querying it. I'll, I'll precisely show you how to do that. It's a very simple procedure. And then we'll look at certain things like querying a single table. Then we'll look at some conditional querying and then we'll look at some where clauses and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead. All right, so what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to just um, Google AdventureWorks and, and let's see. Okay, so here are some product samples. It is provided by msftdbprodsamples.coteplex.com. Let's go ahead and see what all it provides. Okay, let's go ahead and download this. And let's see. So we are using a 2014 version, so 2012 should be compatible. Let's go ahead and save this. And I already have this saved, um, but let's see, let's just call this as underscore one, and then let's save this. It's, it's a small file, it's about 36 MB, I believe. Uh, let's see, yeah, around 36 MB. And um, it all, so let's, let's download that. And in parallel, I'll also open my management studio. Okay. And let me connect to my database. And again, you'll find the two databases that we created in our previous session. Now this has downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and just unzip this here. And once I unzip this, you should find two tables. The MDF file is your actual database file. LDF file is where it stores logs. So don't worry too much about it right now and we will just go ahead and use this let me just go ahead and put this into a different folder and all right so i am going to use this path and let me go ahead and right click on databases and say attach once i click on attach it's going to ask me my mdf file location and I'm going to just input my MDF file location. Okay, so let's say okay, and it'll also pick up the LDF file, and let's click okay, and then you should see your database restored here. If you open up the tables, you will find a lot of data that they provide you. So let's select the top 1000 rows, and you see that there is some inbuilt data to play with. Now. This actually gives us some base work to play with data. 
and we'll precisely use the same database. And if you want to follow along with me, go ahead and download this database and attach it to your local environment, and then you can follow um, the queries along with me.